Hi friends! Today is going to be our wrap up for Tis the Season of Thon. I did a TBR earlier this month for the Tis the Season of Thon and it's over now. So now we get to talk about what I was able to read and accomplish during the week. So there were five book prompts for the Tis the Season a Thon. The first was a book set in December, which I used Christmas as We Know It by Sarah Sutton, which I did complete. A book under 250 pages, I picked A Charlie Brown Christmas, which I did complete. Snow on the cover, I picked One More for Christmas by Sarah Morgan, which I did complete. Received as a gift, I picked A Very Merry Bromance by Alyssa K. Adams, which I did complete. And the fifth challenge was to read a book while baking a holiday treat. And for that, I picked Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. I think I got that right. I also completed that and I made cookies. So I got all five of those challenges completed. Now my bingo prompts, not so great. So I completed a diverse book because Dash and Lily's Book of Dares is diverse to me. I read a romance because... A Very Merry Bromance is a romance. A book with a holiday word in the title. Christmas as we know it. Charlie Brown Christmas. I read Charlie Brown Christmas. I watched a favorite holiday movie. I watched The Mistletones, one of my all-time favorites. I made Christmas cookies. In fact, I made peanut butter and chocolate chip cookies. But I did not make a book Christmas tree and I did not read the 25th book on my TBR, which is Not Now, Not Ever by Lily Anderson. Uh, mostly I didn't make a book tree because as you can see from behind me I don't have any books in here at the moment um, at least not any that are close enough where I can get to them without a ladder and ha to make a book tree and that's a lot of work and I also that's why I'm not holding any books up because all of the books that I read I read via audio because all of my books are oh put up right now so because I'm working on building new shelves and I have nothing in here it's great except not really. I did not make it to the 25th book on my TBR, which was Not Now, Not Ever by Lily Anderson. And honestly, she might be going away. That book I've had every opportunity to read this year. I've really enjoyed other things by Lily Anderson, but I'm really struggling with YA at this point in my life. Uh, I am 35 and a half years old. So, um, you know, that's not surprising. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna pick that one up or if it's gonna run away. But that's not here nor there. So I read five books this week, fulfilled five prompts, did most of the bingo board, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. So let's talk about the books that we read. Okay, the first was Christmas As We Know It by Sarah Sutton, who is a fellow author tuber, and I will link in the description box down below. I ended up giving this book a four out of five stars. I think that if you are a YA reader, this is a perfect YA romance set at Christmas time. It had all of the Christmassy feels. It definitely had like that teenage love angst, the will they or won't they, the, you know, all of those fun things that you get in a cute Christmassy romance definitely were there um, that are age appropriate for that genre. For me, it wasn't like my favorite Christmas book ever but I did really enjoy it. But again, it's not necessarily for my age bracket. I did think it was a good time. I did have fun reading it and I would definitely read more from Sarah in the future. A Charlie Brown Christmas. Did I rate that two out of five stars? I don't know. I might've gave it a 2.5. It gave it a three. I don't know. I'm not a Charlie Brown Christmas stand girl. It would not have happened had it not been on the list of bingo prompts. I would have read something else. I I've been to see Charlie Brown Christmas, um, like the stage play. Um, I don't really like that either, which is weird because I love musicals and stage plays, but I'm just, I'm just not a Charlie Brown Christmas girly. So it's like 36 pages. So it fulfilled two prompts. It also fulfilled a prompt for the reindeer readathon. So it is what it is. One more for Christmas by Sarah Morgan. I gave a four out of five stars. This is a very solid holiday family drama, which is exactly what I expect from Sarah Morgan at this point. Um, I think this is my third of her books that I've read. Um, they're set at Christmas time. There's usually like a multi-generational family issue going on. I had a really good time with this one. I liked the characters and kind of like the way that we were able to be introduced to all of them. I will say if you do pick this book up, definitely read more than just the first chapter. Um, and I'm not that person who's like, well, if you just read more, it gets better. 
I'm the person who's here to tell you that the main character whose focus it is to change the most throughout the book uh, is the mother character. And she is the first point of view that we get. And so in the second chapter, we get a different point of view. She's a really hard character to root for and a really hard character to like, especially in the beginning. So it was the right choice to start with her, but also it had to have been a difficult decision uh, because it just, it feels like the wrong point of view to start in because it's like immediately putting off your readers. But the way things progress throughout the story, it's definitely, it was the right choice. But uh, as a reader, the first chapter, I was like, oh God. And then I got to the second chapter and I was like, oh no, I, her, her kids are fine. It's just her. And then, you know, the story progresses because again, the point of a story is for characters to change and all of that fun stuff. This one definitely had like small town Christmassy vibes. Like they were in a secluded area. They went out into the forest and cut their own Christmas trees. They were building snowmen. They were baking cookies. It was just a very Christmassy feeling. A Very Merry Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Literally the number of times that while I was reading this, I was yelling, oh my god, I love this book. I had the best reading experience with this book. It was so much fun to read. Um, I had a great time. The main characters, our, our duo, were just absolute fun to read from. Definitely, if you like a grumpy sunshine trope, this one's for you. Um, definitely hardcore grumpy sunshine vibes. I will say, I don't say this very often, but I do wish this book had been a little bit longer. I do think Colton and Gretchen's story needed the space to grow and that definitely happened on page. But because we got them and their character work and so much of their story, we didn't really get any of the former couples or the other members of the bromance book club quite as much as I would have liked. So if there had been a little bit longer and there had been a few more scenes with the other characters that we've grown to love, I would have enjoyed that more. But I really did have a fantastic time reading this book. And then last we have Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. And I originally rated this a 4.25 out of 5 stars. This is like my third or fourth or fifth or twelfth reread. I don't even know anymore. Is this book good enough to warrant that many rereads? Not really. I mean, a 4.25 is great, but I don't typically like reread books like that. However, as a girl from the Midwest, and maybe you somewhere else, I don't know, but for me, as a girl from the Midwest, we grew up reading books and watching movies and TV shows that just glorified Christmas in New York in a way that nothing else can. And for some reason, even to me, who has never been to New York at Christmas time, I feel like New York at Christmas time is quintessential Christmas. And this book is essentially a scavenger hunt across New York. And so you're hearing about places that we've, you know, seen or heard in other books and movies. And then even today, when I watch or read other things, they'll talk about things that I've heard about in this book. And so it just really is like a fun way to piece things together and to kind of just like a way to mesh all of the fun Christmassy things together. Uh, so this book for me is just like pure nostalgia overload and I love reading it every time I read it. And yes, I have watched the series on Netflix and yes, it is very good. And yes, I am sad that they are not gonna do any more seasons of it. Um, because it was wonderful. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.